Welcome back to Wisconsin Tonight. Well, if you're having people over for your house for the holidays, you can mix up a couple of special holiday drinks. And joining us tonight, Adam Seeger, the expert mixologist for IPIC Theaters. Adam, thanks a lot for coming in. It's a pleasure. Happy holidays. You as well. We've got a couple of things we're going to show people how to prepare. Yes, we are. We're going to do first uh, a hot toddy that hot we toddy. serve at Big Daddy's, which is uh, the barbecue place next to IPIC Theaters. Right. And we're going to start off with some uh, fresh lemon juice in here. Excellent. And then a couple of spices. We've got some whole cloves. You want to use... Ah, you can smell them. Right. You mm. want to use the whole the whole cloves and the whole cinnamon versus the ground. A lot fresher, a lot more of those essential oils in there. Yep. And then we're going to do a, a special local spirit. It's Roaring Dan's Rum made uh, here in Milwaukee with a Wisconsin maple syrup. Ooh. So it's got a great aroma to it. That's going to kind of spike our holiday cheer. And then a little bit of Wagner's maple from up near Door County. Oh, my. And now what you're going to do is you're going to hit it with hot water. And the fun thing here is it's cold outside, and you can come in and enjoy a nice, nice warm cocktail that's going to get you in the oh, holiday look spirit. Look at it steam up there. And you've got that beautiful lemon in there. Yeah. Give it a little bit of freshness. So we're going to let that steep for a second, and then we're going to start some homemade eggnog. All right, excellent. All right, so we've got some. Oh, real egg, and looks like real cream, too? Absolutely, some wow. fresh, fresh Wisconsin mm. cream. Mm -hmm. Little egg, so you got your protein in there. It's kind of like of a course. protein shake. Yeah, we're, we're, we're drinking for our health. Oh, of course. <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> All right, now uh, brown sugar syrup. This is just brown sugar and water. Uh, cook just until the brown sugar melts. Okay. And vanilla extract, lots of vanilla, almost uh, three-quarter of an ounce. Mm. And now a little bit of Corbel brandy, uh, aged in oak barrel, so that's going to give a little bit more kind of clove and cinnamon and vanilla flavor in there. Right. Now I'm going to have you put a few ice cubes into these glasses. All right. Give I'll this do a my shake. Best. Something I can definitely handle. Absolutely. Now uh, we're going to give this a quick shake. Now you could do this in a shaker at home. You could also put this in a bowl and and use a whisk. Protein shake. Protein yes. Shake. Absolutely. Love that sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the magic is happening. All right. Now. One of the best things about eggnog is fresh, fresh nutmeg. Oh, yeah. I uh, can't do the pre-ground stuff. It, right. it doesn't have the same, same flavor at all. So we're going to pour Ooh, that right in look there. Look at that. You've got all that goodness in it. And now you can use a, uh, a grater, but uh, this is a microplane. You can get it at a good cooking store. Okay. A little bit of nutmeg. And you'll be able to smell that oh, right yeah, when it goes already, on top. Already. And it just kind of brings wow. this whole thing to life. Mm. So our toddy should be ready now. We'll give this a quick stir. <laughs> and where do you start? <laughs> well, maybe have a, have a little something warm first, and then I'll toast you there, and we'll try the eggnog right after All that. All right. I guess I'm going to, this is official duty, so I have yes. to sample this. Yes, Big Daddy Hot Toddy. That is fabulous, particularly on a cold winter night. Warms the cockles of your heart. Now Absolutely. let's try the eggnog. All right, let's do that. Just for quality control. Good way to start, yeah, good way to start the day. All right. Eggnog in the morning. Yes. That is so smooth, and it is so flavorful. Thank you. And I don't know what you've done, but you can, it's not like, the, you're not overwhelmed with the brandy. You, it, you can tell it's there, but right. it's just, you know, a nice afterthought almost. Wow. Okay, uh, you're hosting a, a party. What are some of the basics that you should have in your bar? Well, you want to make sure you've got some, some nice glassware, uh, nice of heavy course. rocks it's glass. Part of it's the show, right? Right. It's also that, that feel in your hand. Um, your ice, you want to make sure it's fresh out of the freezer. If your ice has started to melt a little bit, your cocktail is going to get diluted before it can get nice and cold and delicious. And make sure everything you've got is as fresh as you can get it. Uh, your, your lemons, your limes, your, your, your spices and whatnot. And finally, pay attention to the spirits that you use. People say, well, it's going in a cocktail. It doesn't really matter. That would be like saying, well, we're having fish tonight. Let's just get the get frozen fish. It doesn't matter. Good we're going to cook it anyway. So get the best. Use the For good your stuff. friends. Absolutely. Excellent. Does everybody invite you to their parties? I, I get lots of invitations. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> and I, I usually get invited back. It's a good party trick when you show up with good cocktails. Well, this is great stuff. Adam Seeger, uh, I pick mixologist. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Well, and, cheers. And happy holidays. Happy holidays to you My as pleasure. well. By the way, we put the ingredients and directions for these fabulous drinks on our website, tmj4.com slash Wisconsin Tonight. Here's to your health.